वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स हेयर यू विल अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू गेट द सम ऑफ एन टर्म्स ऑफ एन एरेथमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन ओके सो सम ऑफ एन टर्म्स ऑफ एन एरेथमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन दिस इज डिनोटेड बाय दिस इज डिनोटेड बाय द नोटेशन एस एन ओके एंड हेयर यू विल सी देर इज अ फॉर्मूला वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग सिंपल फॉर्मूला to get the sum of n terms and that formula is sn is equal to n by 2 a plus l where l a is the first term of the ap and l is the last term and another formula is sn is equal to n by 2 2a plus n minus 1 into t correct so you have to remember this formula memorize this formula but it will be easier to memorize it if we understand how we are getting this result how we are getting the formula to find sum of n terms sn okay so let us suppose that a uh, given ap is a a plus d a plus 2d like this okay and if we find sum then we add all these numbers a a plus d a plus 2d like this up to last term hmm? up to last term suppose last term is l and here a is the first term clearly and d is the common difference so sum of ap can be expressed like this and second last term will be second term last term will be l minus d because if you move in the reverse order then d will be subtracted if you move forward then d will be added common difference will be added okay so here we are getting l minus d and second last term second last term will be l minus 2d l minus 2d isn't it you are understanding what we are doing we are trying to find the formula how we are getting this formula in this form okay and if we write this expression in the reverse order in a reverse order we can write sn is equal to first you write l then l minus d then l minus 2d like this and now these terms are a plus 2d plus a plus d plus a a simple just we have written in the reverse order now we will add corresponding terms of both the sides separately in lhs as well as in rhs so in left hand side if we add corresponding terms then sn plus sn we are getting here to sn we are adding here okay we are adding here both the expressions so in the left hand side we are getting to sn and in the right hand side if you add first term this is a plus l if you add second term then plus d minus d will be cancel out again we are getting a plus l similarly if we add this terms then plus 2d and minus 2d will be cancel out a plus l so every term is a plus l each term is a plus l correct similarly up to last we are getting the same expression a plus l a plus l and a plus l here how many times we are getting a plus l n times why because we are trying to find out sum of n terms so in this expression we are having n terms as well as in the second expression also we are having n terms so total number of terms is how many n so how many times we are getting a plus l a plus l a plus l how many times n times okay so we are 
getting 2SN is equal to N times of A plus L and therefore SN is equal to how much? We will divide both sides by 2. So N by 2 A plus L. This is the formula which we are getting. Correct? And how we can get this result? So what is L here? Here L is last term and last term means nth term and nth term is equal to we have already seen uh, in the previous videos how to get nth term tn nth term means tn how we can get it there is a formula a plus n minus 1 into d so if we write value of last term means l means tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d in relation number 1 we will get this result ok so therefore by 1 sn is equal to n by 2 a plus l is tn last term so nth term so a plus n minus 1 into d a plus n minus 1 into d so therefore finally we are getting sn is equal to n by 2 here a plus a is 2a isn't it so this is 2a plus n minus 1 into d so we are getting these two formula which you can use wherever they will be required for solving the questions related to uh, sum of n terms of an ap sometimes uh, sum of n terms and sum of n minus 1 terms will be given in question then we can find out nth term very easily isn't it so you must remember there is a very interesting formula that nth term tn is equal to sn minus s n minus 1 sum up to nth term and sum up to n minus 1 term when we will make the difference of these two sums then we will get nth term of the AP. So wherever uh, we will require we, we can use this formula. Uh, so by using the formula for SN we can get TN also means nth term also. Okay. And if the form of SN, format of SN, expression of SN is given then by putting n is equal to n minus 1 we can get s n minus 1 if you put n is equal to 5 you will get s 5 oh, so we can use this formula for getting sum of different up to different terms of a given ap so i hope you have understood these expressions very uh, clearly and we will use this formula in exercises in other videos mm -hmm.